Good morning everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. I literally can't believe it's already the 2nd of December and for you guys when you watch this it's the 3rd of December. This is crazy but like I just feel like I'm in such a really nice mood like I just feel like I'm really looking forward to this month like I hope you guys are too I hope you have had like a great start to December and if you're not then hopefully my vlogs can cheer you up and make you feel all Christmassy. So normally in the weekly vlogs I would kind of like record breakfast and then talk to you once I've had a bit of time to wake up but it's daily vlogging so I'm making the effort I hope it comes across I don't really know but yeah I've literally just woke up I'm gonna go downstairs and get my breakfast Matthew's just gone down to start it and um, we're not gonna have breakfast in bed today we're gonna have breakfast in bed tomorrow if it being Sunday tomorrow and we're gonna just get up and do things today and um, we're gonna tidy the house today so we can get the decorations up I'm so excited and I just got an amazing delivery as well so my phone if you don't follow me on Instagram ridiculous disaster at the minute like I can barely post like on my stories it's just not working so I have had to order myself a new phone and ta -da! so I've ordered the pixel 2 XL Um, I always like my phones to be as big as possible I was buying the Samsung notes when everybody else still had little phones so this is actually smaller than the phone I have now but it's the biggest phone I could find that I actually liked so I went for the white one so I'm gonna set that up later and I'll let you guys know what it's like Um, Matthew says it's an early Christmas present but I needed it like honestly like my job life as sad as it sounds is on my phone and my phone was an absolute mess so I got myself a new phone and I'd had that phone for over th like three and a half years now so it was time for an upgrade it was just really slow and blah but anyway so by the way if you're new to my channel because you're checking me out for vlogmas this is what Sarah looks like with no makeup yes that acne life I don't care anymore I've had it too long to care so I'm sorry if it makes you feel weird but hey never mind I'm not putting makeup on I've just woke up right I'm gonna go downstairs and get some breakfast and then we'll open my advent calendar and yeah uh, we'll tidy and put the decorations up and oh my goodness it's just I feel so Christmassy so Christmassy how cute is my Christmas cup from Disney store I absolutely love this cup so much Matthew just brought me a, a cup of tea um I basically ate my breakfast pretty quick um, there wasn't much to record because um, when I got downstairs Matthew had already made my cup of tea so this is it and I wanted to come straight upstairs and get this vlog edited so the first vlog miss is edited you'll have watched this yesterday if you watched it um, so yeah I just wanted to I just want to make sure I get these up on time and I can't spend all day doing them like I did last year because it was so stressful and it probably isn't very interesting for you guys to watch so I came straight upstairs uh, with my lovely cup of tea. I absolutely love this cup, seriously, it's so Christmassy. Um, so yeah, cup of tea and I've edited it already. I'm good to go. So I just need to make the thumbnail and then me and Matthew are going to do some tidying so that we can put the Christmas decorations up. So I'm really glad with how that vlog went. Like, I'm very happy um, with my first vlog miss. Like, I hope you guys are too. Like, I feel like it was definitely quite a daily vlog rather than my weekly vlogs. Like, I don't know if you guys notice the difference. And maybe I'm blowing my own horn here, but I tried really hard, so... Yeah, I'm glad with the way the first vlog went. Uh, so I'm just gonna get the thumbnail done and a couple of emails and then we're gonna get ready for the Christmas decorations. So I've just come downstairs from editing the vlogmas from yesterday, for yesterday, from yesterday for today, and Matthew has broke my cup. It's broke it. I mean, it's just the Primark one. It's not the Disney Store one, so it was only a fiver. But now Mickey doesn't have a mini, Matthew. What have you got to say for yourself? The problem is that you've got too many cups. I don't have too many cups. And so when I'm so you did cups, it deliberately. And there's like twenty odd cups in the sink. One of them's gonna get damaged, isn't it? So, so was it deliberate? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, I'm tidying this area at the minute. I've just come downstairs and this is what I'm about to tidy. Matthew's tidied the sitting room and I'm gonna tidy this. But um, yeah, we're gonna get rid of this trolley with all the pens in because it always falls over. And this can be the pen pot now and I'll just have to glue that back on. No! I've got my advent calendar and I'm gonna open the second day. Matthew's holding the camera so that I can open the second one. Ta -da! So this is what is in my calendar. It's like a chocolate, kind, like a dark chocolate Kindle mint cake kind of thing, like it's really minty. It's really nice. So I'm going to have this 
with a cup of tea. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna make a cup of tea and then I'm gonna have it with a cup of tea. Matthew's just made us some lunch, even though it's it's a tray of potatoes, but I'm looking forward to it. I like potato. And we've got buble on, but um, obviously I can't show you too much because I'll get copyrighted, but Christmas buble albums are the best. I literally cannot remember if I showed you this earlier. Um, that's just a coaster that I've brought. Well, actually, this is another funny story I'll tell you. Um, I bought this. Look at my chipped nails. I hate it. But I bought this from the Cath Kidson range thinking it was a nice plate that I could use um, on the table like at Christmas and stuff. And then yeah, it came in the post and it's tiny. Like it's absolutely tiny. Like I'm so annoyed. Um, I think it's meant to be like a trinket tray. But when I ordered it, it definitely said plate. So, which is annoying because it's the same price as a bigger plate that I bought from the last range. I can't remember if I said this before but anyway so I was going to return it but I'm going to use it as a coaster like a cup fits there so that's going to be a coaster for my desk but anyway um I can't remember if I showed you my phone so this is my new phone um that I took out on contract a few days ago and it's just arrived and I've just had a look and um it's pretty complicated to set it up because I want to keep my old phone number so I'm probably going to try and set it up tomorrow um I'm kind of nervous about it I haven't had a new phone for about three and a half years and it's going to take a lot to transfer everything over to this one so I will do that tomorrow but this is the new pixel did I show you this earlier I can't remember but I got a white one it's got like an orange button on the side it's pretty snazzy so we'll have a go at setting that up tomorrow but I've just come upstairs to get ready because me and Matthew have finished tidying and we've just been sat on the chair for about maybe an hour and a half just chilling so I'm gonna put some makeup on because we're gonna do the decorations tomorrow because Matthew doesn't like being in the house all day like he goes a bit crazy so We've been tidying, well, Matthew's been tidying, to be honest. I've done a bit of tidying, but Matthew did most of it. And then we're going to go out now to some shops and to Costa and things. So I best get my makeup on. So I know I literally just spoke to you like two seconds ago. I was showing you my phone, but I can't remember if I already showed you it. But anyway, um, I'm literally just putting a bit of foundation on. Because um, as I was saying, me and Matthew have been sat on the sofa for like, I don't know, probably going on like an hour and a half, not really doing too much just kind of chilling like it's nice to just be able to chill together and sit on the sofa um i really should have been setting up my phone but i've just realized because of my new i took out a new contract with a different company so i was with three and i've switched to id or something i just really wanted that phone basically um i mean it's a good contract but i want my old number um so i need to switch everything over and it's going to take a while to be able to do that like I need to ring my old network and all that so so I'm just gonna do that tomorrow and we're gonna do the decorations tomorrow I'm gonna go out to the shops so um we're gonna go like Costa I want to go to um Home Bargains because there's a Christmas candle that I've been eyeing up that I really want to get um yeah we're not really doing too much we're just gonna go out to some shops and then we're gonna do the decorations tomorrow so tomorrow's vlogmas will be the decorations and I think I'm gonna go to Metro I think on Monday but if not Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm not really sure. Oh, I can see someone's Christmas lights out of the um, out of the window. Oh my god, that's so cool. Someone across the street's got the tree up. When I went outside yesterday to the bin, I noticed that someone had their tree up. So we're putting our tree up tomorrow. We're putting our decorations up tomorrow. Or oh, I'm pretty sure we are. That's the plan. We also want to go to the like, Metro Centre tomorrow, but I think we'll end up not going to Metro Centre and just me going to Metro Centre like, with my sister on Monday and then maybe just putting up the decorations tomorrow. I'm not really sure, but we will make a Christmassy. Literally putting a little bit of makeup on so that we can go out to the shops. They're just some local shops. Literally not going to do too much. And then I think after we've been to the shops, we're going to go to Matthew's parents. And normally I wouldn't vlog me putting my makeup on, but um, it's a daily vlog. So, you know, vlogging my life. Imagine if I put in as much like content or filming or whatever as I do in these daily vlogs like so far if i did that every day in my wiki vlogs my wiki vlogs would be like five hours long or something it would be crazy and sometimes when we go with matthew's parents we end up like watching a movie so we might watch a movie at their house i don't think they've got their decorations up yet but anyway i'm just gonna carry on putting my makeup on 
and then we're gonna go out to the shops so and have a costa my favorite oh and we need to go to aldi as well and get matthew a calendar and then if we can't get him a calendar then i'm gonna get one when i go to metro center or if we go to metro center tomorrow i'm not really sure yet it literally just depends on i just basically really want to put the decorations up tomorrow so we might not go to the shops tomorrow i don't know i'm pretty nervous though because um my first vlogmas goes up in like an hour so I hope you guys like it. Filming daily vlogs, like Vlogmas, is so much different to weekly vlogs. Like you have to think about the filming a lot more. Like not that I don't put effort into my weekly vlogs, but the weekly vlogs, if you put if you put so much like little stuff in every day, like I was saying, the vlogs will be really long. But if you um if you don't put enough in the daily vlogs then they'll be like five minutes long anyway i'm just gonna quickly finish up putting a little bit more makeup on and then we're gonna go out to the shops by the way i just thought i'd quickly say that i don't want to come across as ungrateful for this phone um like people are probably sitting at home thinking that phone arrived this morning and you haven't even set it up yet or turned it on it's because i feel like nervous about using it like it's a brand new phone and it's going to take so long to transfer everything over from my old phone to my new phone i want to sit down and do it properly when i have the chance to do that if that makes sense and i've only ever used samsung's before like for years and this is a pixel which is brand new like what would you call it like oh, what is the word anyway it's brand new software and stuff so it's all like new and it's going to be a little bit different um and i need i like because of the way i did it and the network i've gone with i have to do everything myself so i even have to change the number of myself like i have to ring the old network and get like some sort of code to change my number over and it's just going to take ages and then i've got to transfer over my instagram like my passwords like all my bank account stuff's on there like everything needs changed over so i need to sit down and do it properly so just in case anybody's like you've had that phone since this morning and you haven't even turned it on it's because i'm nervous about doing it because it's going to take ages and i'm very aware that it was an expensive phone and i haven't had one for about three and a half years so i just don't want to ruin it so i just thought i'd point that out before anybody's like why have you not even turned it on that's why so i'm going to do that tomorrow and then we'll probably do the decorations tomorrow as well but i've just got some clothes on and um, everybody always asks where this jump is from it's just a primark one it's probably my favorite out of all my primark clothes i absolutely I love it but i'm gonna sort my hair out because the mess and then we're gonna go out to the shops there we go i've just done my hair and we're gonna go out to the shops now i really really want to get this phone out and play with the camera like so bad like the more i keep getting it out of the box to have a little look at it the more i want to get it out but i don't want to turn it on until i'm ready to set it up but apparently it's got the best phone on uh, the best phone the best camera on the market guys we've just come out and we thought we'd have a look at people's lights in the gardens look at how many people already have lights up i mean we're getting our decorations up tomorrow well i really want some like front garden stuff but we have a little kitty next door neighbor that likes to play with everything in our garden so we pop, can't put anything up can we or break it. oh yeah he breaks it basically i was trying to be polite but yeah he breaks it <laughs> massive look at that tree oh <gasps> that's beautiful oh uh, i want some icicle ones like that oh that's really nice the, the red the red and the white yeah so me and matthew did once actually put lights up on our front door would you call it like porch hood yeah. thing um and we didn't it was the first year we moved in and we didn't have a ladder so i had to go on matthew's shoulders to put them up do you remember yeah it was I killed myself we so I was, wasn't I stood on this uh, on that step thing the stool thing yeah oh my god yeah like we were either stood on the stool or i was on matthew's shoulders and we put up the lights they look good though to be fair although we didn't have anything to put them up other than blue tack and three years later i think that blue tack is still up there. Yeah, oh my it's, god it's still well, up there we couldn't get it down we tried to take it down and it took the paint off so we just left it on. yeah so we we haven't put light lights up since the next year it was too much of a faff we were both at uni the second year we lived here weren't we so we didn't put them up and we wrapped them around the trees extra lights around the tree and the rabbit chewed them didn't he so we've had to take precautions the next few years so that the rabbit can't chew the light. I kind of want some lights around the house this year, but they're so expensive, like really expensive. Oh, it's all fuzzy. Going out to the shops now, we just thought we'd show you some of the lights around there. Well, we wanted to have a look at the lights. I'm surprised by how many people's got stuff up. Do you remember last year, hardly anyone put stuff up? Well, I mean, estates like that tend to put things up on. Yeah, but I felt like last year, like a lot of people didn't. Anyway, we're going to go to some local shops and a Costa and stuff like that. And for some reason, this camera is really not focusing in the dark. So I think it's all the flashing lights. So I will see you guys when we get there. <gasps> Santa Claus! 
Santa Claus! We are just nipping into Aldi to try and see if we can find Matthew a dairy-free advent calendar. I hope they've got some left. We're in Aldi and I just found these big Christmas plushes, Mickey, Minnie and Winnie the Pooh. Like they're quite big, they're like the large ones aren't they in Disney store. Yeah. 20 quid! I can't believe that. Are they official Disney? Yeah they are. That's crazy. I like the little hats on them. And I like the mini. I mean they're actually 20 quid in Disney store right now. Yeah. But uh, still, it's pretty good. This looks really tasty. It's thick and squishy. So do you just decorate it and it's pre-built? This one. They didn't have any dairy-free advent calendars left, we asked. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to get you that Disney store one, Matthew. Um, the reusable triangle one, if there's any of them left. Alright. No, you need an advent calendar. I'll show yours. No. <laughs> anyway, there was none left, so we're gonna go around to the other shops now and go to like Costa and stuff like that. We have just come to a second alley to try and get Matthew an advent calendar. We weren't planning on it, but we drove past and we were like, oh, we'll go and check. So, Aldi number two. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you. Look across the road. We have not been able to find Matthew a calendar and I wanted something in Home Bargains, a Christmas candle, but I haven't been able to find that either. But I did get two Christmas decorations, which I'll show you when we get home, but we're gonna go into Costa now. Costa but um we were quite rushed because we got in there and they were shutting in 20 minutes which we didn't realize so we got like hot drinks and um like a mince pie and a Christmas cake and uh yeah also the guy was a little bit rude like I always get the mince pie heated up just because it tastes nicer like when it's not heated up it's quite hard um like I've had it before and like, not heated up so I've had that mince pie probably a good five six times possibly even more um like it came out the beginning of november and i've we go to costa quite often i go when i'm in london like i go to costa i've had that mince pie and i was like can i have this heat up please and he was just like can't heat it up i'm not allowed to do that the thing is though he was like it's got gluten in we can't do that but it's gluten free so that didn't make sense no what you're saying is that because it's gluten free if you put it in the heater which be used for other things that aren't gluten free yeah then the mince pie is no longer gluten free what you should have said is that I'm not gluten at all. I know, but he didn't even say it anyway. Never mind. He, he heated it up for us because I said I've had it done before, but he was a bit tetchy about it. Anyway, Matthew got a small Americano and he had to like neck it because it was shutting. And I had a cup of tea and I had to get a takeout cup to put it in the takeout cup because I just couldn't drink it in time. It was like hot and I still had another cup in my teapot left. So that was the fastest Costa of my life, but it was still very tasty. <laughs> I do like going to that Costa. Um, oh god, I've just hit the camera off the roof. But now we're gonna go around to Matthew's parents. Um, are we watching a movie or are we just. I don't know. Yeah, we're just gonna go around Matthew's parents for a bit. So I don't really know what we'll get up to while we're there, but I'm sure I'll involve you if anything interesting happens. Tell me if you can. When the clock is. 
So guys, we have just gotten back from Matthew's mum and dad's. It's quite late. Um, I didn't... I don't know how much I recorded at his parents. I tried to record like more than I normally would if it was a weekly vlog because obviously it's a daily vlog. But at the same time, it's not my home. So I don't really want to be putting the camera in the faces loads. But um, we were playing with the rats for a little bit. Then we watched Collateral Beauty. Also, I think there was a bit where we were trying to set up um, Mr. Bun's old cage. I don't know if he was ever in that cage when I was weekly vlogging. I can't remember how long he's been in this pink cage. We used to have a different cage for him, which was the cage you'll have seen at his mum and dad's and we were trying to set it up for the rats. But then we watched Collateral Beauty and we actually didn't put that movie on until 10 o'clock. So it's now half 12. So it's quite late. We've just gotten home. Um, but yeah, um, I hadn't seen that movie before. It was okay. Like, it was worth a watch. I wanted to see it, but I don't know if I'd watch it again. Like, I'm not that fussed on mushy movies unless they're, like, really old school ones. As we were leaving, Matthew's mum gave us these. So after all that searching for a vegan advent calendar, Matthew's mum already had us one each. So we went into two Aldis for nothing, which is quite hilarious, but never mind. So, yeah, we, um, we managed to get these. My sister's got this one, and she says it's quite nice, actually. So yeah, I'm looking forward to having this in the morning. I now have two calendars. Matthew just has this one and he says he's happy just to have one, but I have two. So yeah, tomorrow we'll be putting up the Christmas decorations. That's 100% that's happening tomorrow because it's all tidy down here. And two advent calendars. So I am very excited to carry on the Christmas festiveness. While I was out, I um, bought two Christmas decorations. So I'll quickly show you those now. So I bought this tree skirt in... Oh, I hear my chipped nails. <laughs> I bought this tree skirt in um, Aldi. Um, there was a green one, a red one and a white one. And it basically just goes under the tree like that. And I just thought it would be nice because the rabbit really likes to lie under the tree. But obviously we have wood floorings. So I got this foot under the um, tree. It's just felt. It was like £8. So that's pretty cool. And then I got these which are like the backs of chairs kind of things. Hang on. So they go on the back of the chairs like that. Um, I just got two this time because I'm not sure how many people will have them around on Christmas Day. Um, but it's definitely at least going to be me and Matthew here, obviously. So I got these two. And these were two forty nine for the two in Home Bargains. So how cute are those? So that was all I really bought at the shops. So there was a candle I was after in Home Bargains. The gingerbread man one. But um, I couldn't find it. I hope it hasn't sold out. I still feel really Christmassy. I hope today was Christmassy. Like, I hope I made it Christmassy. Um... I really don't know how much footage I get recorded until I edit it the next day. And I'm very aware that on daily vlogs you need to record more, if that makes sense, um, than just like a weekly vlog. But anyway, I had a good day today. I'm feeling like so Christmassy still. I hope you guys are having a great start to December. And I'm going to catch you tomorrow for putting up the decorations. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.